Uh, here's a shit talker on Facebook. His name is, uh, you want his name or? Yeah, put his, right. put his name out. Matthew Moore, M O O R E, says, uh, so you make an American product. Actually, he didn't say N. I, I threw that in there because he said you make A. And actually, you're supposed to use AND before that fuck stick. Sorry, I'm in a little bit of pain today and I'm not in a good mood. So I don't have a lot of tolerance for this fucker. Um, it's time for language class. Sorry, Mom. School and Lance. Matthew Moore. So you make in, in American product and support American businesses. But then you ship the money overseas by not buying American cars or watches. Oh. Kind of hard to swallow. You don't have a problem swallowing down the glory hole, fucker. Another company that talks talks the talk about supporting American. Is it American or America? Fucker. And then and then cuts its legs out from under it. About so. Uh, John replies. Matthew Moore makes. Uh, make sure to watch the video in the morning that we make of you. Oh, hey, here we are. I own half a dozen so-called U.S.-made vehicles, but your jealous ass focuses on the other few I own. All of my vehicle parts and expendables are bought in the U.S. All fuel is purchased in the U.S. All services done in the U.S., 90% of which is done in my home, small hometown, etc., etc., blah, 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 you're a dirty tramp. Fucking yawn. Did I say that part? No, I did. <laughs> He's paraphrasing uh, a bit. <laughs> I'm a little. I'm a little. I'm sorry. Lance added the dirty tramp part. Why? Why don't you change the privacy on your page when you sell you, so all your stuff can be critiqued? Because you're a little bitch. He's a dude. You can't see none of his shit. He just popped up posted <clears> on the <throat> SOE page at um, last, yesterday on a post that was a day or two old. Um, when I go home at night, I post a picture of my watch next to the steering wheel when we're leaving. Um, a bunch of our friends do it, a bunch of businesses we do business with do it. I've been doing it for years. And dudes take issue with the cost of my watch or what car I'm driving. I've been doing that since I was wearing a fucking $100 watch. I did it, you know, when I was fucking driving a Ford or a Chevy, and I still do, and I still drive those cars. I own way more U.S.-made vehicles than European vehicles, and, um, uh, that's the thing. Like we couldn't see what that fucking dude drove. He lists himself as self-employed, but doesn't list where he works. He's obviously, you know, not very proud of him being, you know, whatever it is he started or whatever it is he does. But uh, you know, that's that's the thing. Um, and when you talk about, you know, U.S. made products, fucking how much of that fucking Chevy or Ford was made in the U.S.? How much? Uh, how many yeah. parts that came into the U.S.? You know, that shit wasn't made here. Half of it. And uh, <coughs> you know, a lot of you know, Toyota makes shit in the United States. Fucking Japanese companies make shit in the United States. Fucking Porsche just came in and bought a huge track. The dealership and the support network for, you know, those vehicles is here. That money fucking is maintained and, and retained within the United States. And, you know, what What the fuck ever? Fucking... The forest for the trees. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's also it's the same thing, changing your paradigm and how you look at shit and stuff. All right, let's see this next one um, is from a guy named Daryl. He sent this email and says, John, I wanted to thank you and the entire SOE staff for putting out the toughest gear on the market today. I have followed you since. I heard your company in a Jaeger video several years ago, but didn't place my order until this September. I'm only working part-time right now and have been since March, since losing my full-time job in February of this year. While this year has been extremely difficult with work and losing my mother, I'm still busting through the walls of life and, let, and not letting shit slow me down. Since September, I've ordered, I've ordered several times thanks to your sales. The sales have made it so much easier to get the gear that I have eyed for a while. The gear that I have bought from you guys is beyond tough and badass. Had it not been for the sales, I would not have, been, I, I would not have ordered the amounts of stuff at the time that I've been able to. It helps out a lot, which is a relief. I have been showing the gear off around work, around at work, and it's catching some attention, especially the belts. I am hoping my guys pony up and place some orders. On a side note, the best part of your videos is that I have two friends that are exactly just like Pablo and Lance. Did you say that? They must yeah. be awesome. It's just, they right? must be really good looking. It's like finding a fucking golden ticket in your candy bar, isn't it, Daryl? <laughs> like a leprechaun at the rainbow. Right? 
fucking. Uh, as long as you guys keep doing what you're doing, I will be a customer. American made is the most important thing that I can ask for. And secondly, is someone willing to speak up for his business. You never let people snowball you ever, and that is worthy of the utmost respect, and I hope that you can see that. You're a true friend of law enforcement and our military. Thank you and appreciate your business and everything that you've done. Be safe, and I hope the, the holidays are good to you all at SOE. Same to you. Thank yeah. You, man. Thank you, Daryl. Yeah, definitely. Thank you, man. All right. Let's see. Where's my coffee? Sorry. Put the first thing. I think you'd secure that shit a little better. Fucking. Well, I can. I can see if he has to turn around, though. Okay. Yeah. I, That's why I got. Whenever I mess with him, I wait till he goes in front of me. Yeah. I've got to do it all covert. He's being. It's his own swivel this morning. We thought school was done. I'm fucking in my head. I think he's left the house this morning. CSSP and. No. All right, this uh, this person is asked to leave their their name out completely and everything, which is is fine. Um, says hi, S O E. You guys ship you guys ship too fast this time. I've never had a problem with your shipping times. You guys usually get stuff out reasonably fast. I've been contracting overseas for a couple of years now, and have bought a couple of things from you guys. I've only um, I've only bought one E D C Cobra belt. Because that's all I've ever needed, and the belt has held up great, even in the harshest conditions. I am currently working in, in Far East Asia, and am scheduled to rotate home for Christmas. First Christmas home in a few years. I am scheduled to head back to the sandbox after the holidays. So I bought this med bag from you guys so I can throw a small trauma kit together to keep in the truck overseas. I figured a month and a half out... Um, Sorry guys, I figured a month and a half out might not be enough time, but damn, I just ordered this weekend and you guys processed and shipped in less than a week. I still have a month before I'm home, and now because of you guys, I'll be itching to get home because I know there's already a box of badassery waiting on me. Thank you guys for your continued support. This bag will definitely be put to good use. Have a great holiday season and take care. I would personally like to meet you guys sometime next year when I'm in the area after my next rotation. Very cool. cool. It's good to hear that. I mean, you know, we'll hear a lot about people complaining about, and I know... <laughs> That's just because we make fun of them. Well, yeah, but <laughs> we put some hours in, and Midnight Oil stuff, and Amanda, and you guys. She, she even prints orders from home and stuff, doesn't she, after you guys go home? Yeah, I, I do emails for another two or three yeah. hours usually. I mean, I'm on the forums and Facebook right. and shit at the same time, but I'm doing emails. They're sitting on that plate right there, Tom. There you go. All right. We got another one here um, from Richard Mogul. He says, uh, Hey, John, I just wanted to say thank you for making the videos you make. Though these videos might not draw as much business and traffic as the call-outs or the hater videos, they're great to see. I showed my dad... I showed my dad the video with Lance in the car and it got him going again. My dad has had multiple back sur surgeries and on the last one he passed away on the table. After res resuscitation he came back. During the course of this he had a stroke and then, and then had another. His hands are about 10% of what they were before. Two years ago we started shooting together and now it is very hard for him to enjoy it. His hands and eyes don't work as well as they did. I know it is hard for him, and I remember being I remember being four years old and watching him move V8 engine blocks like they were toys. Now it's a struggle for him to pick up a fork and eat. But not ever asking for pity or help, he just works through it. I send him videos like Uncle Lance's story for motivation. Because he has taught me throughout my life, sometimes if you want something, or if you struggle with something, or I'm sorry. Sometimes if you want something, you struggle with it. The correct method of getting over an obstacle is to back up, regroup, and bulldoze the motherfucker. I agree with that. I applaud and appreciate all the story because you put a fire back in my dad that I thought was lost. Thanks, brother. Best of luck. Thank you, John, and, and to you and your dad as well. You're right. You know, My, my dad used to always tell me, son, if you're going to do something, don't approach it, attack it. You know? 
and kind of the same analogy like a bulldozer thing. That's good. Yep. So I'm glad that that uh, does help. I um, yeah, it's good stuff. I'm actually kind of having a shitty day today. I'm having a lot of nerve pain in my legs and stuff, and uh, comes and goes. Yeah, fucking yeah. It's just. It's one of those days, honestly, that I didn't, I didn't I, I really didn't even want to do a video today, you know? Well, I'm glad you did. Throws but, people off, it's not equal. If we... Yeah. <laughs> well, I just, I, I don't know, I figured. You know what the problem is? The flutter kicks. Is that what it is? That's what he says. It's the flutter kicks? Well, it's the flutter kicks. And the uh, hand release fucking push What is it? Hand release push ups. <laughs> Go ahead and name everything in the workout. <laughs> you know what the problem is, like? Uh, you know, I have the squats. Like the squat part, I, I got that. Mm -hmm. Getting down on the floor and rolling over, I got that too. <laughs> <laughs> but the flutter kicks. <coughs> and Lance doesn't just do a, a normal flutter kick. When he's like, we're going to do 10 flutter kicks, it's really 100. He does 10 count flutter kicks. Uh, we did a lot one, yesterday. 1.5, 1. 1. <laughs> 1. 1.25. Yeah. Just an inch above uh, that. Oh shit, what's up? Aloha. Come here, uh -huh. right. Come here yeah, beautiful. What in the hell? What's up, Tom here? Selleck? You know no. what? This is putting a little too high. Yeah. Hang uh, on. Well, Come here. Listen. Start. Hang on. Listen. I'm not done. You're not. Hold right. on. I'm not done. Come here, a sharpie marker. Oh no. Yes, I am actually. Get some fucking Aquanet. Look yeah. at this. This is real attached. That hurt. Uh, it was uh, a little, no, a little I, uncomfortable. It, you know, you might. Lift your arms up. Almost, it almost it's almost a belly shirt. Off. I don't know. Oh, they're good. You know, it's all about mindset, so. Look at the low hump Thursday, brother. Never have it at the gym. It is about mindset. And we're doing like any that. overhead shit, and my shirt comes up past my belt line. I take it off when I'm done and give it to Shelton. That's why Shelton has so many new clothes. Yeah. I walk in there, and it's like looking at my closet. Did you dress him this morning, Heather? <laughs> no, he did that. All on his own. Well, we were talking about it yesterday, and Shelton just hates this shirt. I don't oh, know why. Wow. <laughs> and so, I, I, think, I we ought to get shut. We'll all fucking buy Hawaiian shirts. <laughs> I think we should. We should have Aloha Fridays. That's Ooh, that'd be Hawaii. fun. Yeah. In Hawaii. Yeah. I'm just going to wear Friday, brother. I'm just going to wear a big bow. Don't worry. Bring it back tomorrow, all. brother. We'll yeah. do a thing, dude. No, right. sir. <laughs> I'll just have to go buy another one. I mean, literally, that's all. We have Dog dog the Bounty Hunter send you some Hawaiian fucking Cherokee Indian shit. It's okay. I can pixelate it. That would be sweet. I'm going to take like one pixel. Hawaiian and Cherokee Indian. Half of one. A lot of people thought the trouble tours in it. The island of Hawaii. Yeah, so you got that going. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we're glad that happened. Are those real bamboo buttons? I I don't know. Probably not. They kind of look well. like it. Yeah. They're a uh, whale penis button. Yeah. But. <laughs> Heather, you should have brought it wore a coconut bra. <laughs> and you guys could have been bra. like. Do you have brass knuckles in your pocket, or do those pants come like that? Came like that. They're brass, that's cool. I don't know. That is cool. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, oh, they came like that. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, you guys. I'm not carrying brass knuckles at work. Do they really come like that? That's cool. I'd like to have one with a big fucking penis on there. <laughs> <laughs> find out find out how they did that. <laughs> I'm gonna watch I'm gonna get on Pinterest and find out for you. Yeah. And then we'll make some and we'll do a nailed it video. Yep. Like, <laughs> Just a big bleach mark like that on <laughs> all of John's fans, but it comes down to like there. Right. <laughs> nailed it. Nope. <sighs> Alright. Yeah. I yeah. guess that's it. Alright. I guess. <laughs> Aloha Thursday, everybody. So it's Friday's. Yeah, but it's but Thursday. It's Thursday oh, okay. Look, Heather. Don't, don't fucking argue. Mm. Where's I don't Thursday? have. He's hey, hey. Shh. 